Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga Zang? Gorga means gorge, if you're new here. Today's video, guys, we are so excited, and by we, I mean me. By we, I mean we. We are filming a new video today. We're gonna be testing out some new, brand new makeup that I've been seeing floating around, some brand new hype stuff that I've been really, really wanting to test out and try, because, you know, there's just new shit, and I wanna be with that new shit, you know what I'm saying? And I love testing makeup. It's like, this is like one of my favorite videos to film. I'm always really honest about what I think about the products here. I'm not gonna be a complete bitch about it, but I will always tell you the tea and nothing but the tea, so help me God. So we have tons of new stuff. We have new Make It Forever stuff, new Melt stuff, new Jack and Cosmetics stuff, Persona stuff. I'm gonna try to make sure my face does look even, because I would like to film some stuff after this, some TikToks and whatnot, but I have different products I wanna try out, so hopefully we can make it look somewhat decent. <laughs> I hope. But anyway, guys, that's what today's video is going to be. We're going to be testing out a brand new full face of makeup. So if you guys are down for that journey, keep on watching. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't watch it. No, do with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like when we're testing out new makeup, if you guys like the gays, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, but thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are freaking dope. I still love my long form content. I still try to upload, um, even when the videos might be a little bit longer than usual. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I just, I love YouTube. You know, I do. I love my short form content. I do. I love a little moment, but I love long form too. I love long. I love long. I have so much stay. Okay, well, this is not really necessarily new. I'm just gonna try it out. I just haven't used it yet. This is the Beauty Blender Boost Primer. This is a firming and smoothing peptide primer. So we're gonna try this out. I've been intrigued by Miss Smoothing. It's smoothing and gripping. You guys, I love a smoothing and I love a really grip. It feels really, really nice. I would definitely wouldn't say it's gripping. It feels definitely more on the like hydrating slash smoothing side. Oh yeah, you know what? I actually do feel like it does make my, the appearance of my pores a little bit smaller. I do see the smoothing aspect. Miss Beauty Blender, you might be onto something with this one. I feel like my pores look diffused. I do feel like it gives me a boost to my skin, like actual radiance wise. And it was very nice. It actually feels a little bit more tacky now than it did. Maybe it will keep it on longer. Since I have new concealers and new powder, I have the new uh, Shark Shape Tape. I don't know why I always wanna say Shark. So since I have some new concealers, I wanna try out one on each side. We have the new Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I wanna do one on one side. And then we have the new Tarte Shape Tape Radiant on one side. So I wanna try these out together. And I actually have a new powder. This is the Make It Forever HD Skin Twist. So it's basically like a powder that has multiple different colors and you twist it. There's a lilac in here, a pink and like a yellow shade. So you twist it and they all are supposed to come together. Hold on. Oh yeah, I see it. There's a lot of blue coming out. Okay, there's so much blue. Okay, now there's more pink. Come on, pink. So we have a little bit of powder. Like, there's not a lot of powder in here. There's not a ton. So we can both pour it out into the cap. But there's a lot of blue, a little bit of pink, and a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna put it here for later. Our little crack concoction looks kind of lavender. Okay, why do I even do that now? Because I'm not even gonna use that yet. So let me put on some foundation first really quickly because whenever I'm testing new concealer and new powder, I want to stick to foundation I really know. So I'm gonna take a foundation and put it on my skin really quickly. Side note, I'm buffing in my foundation with the LBF3 brush. This is the Lunar Beauty Buffer Brush. I just, you know, this is one of my favorite ways to apply foundation. If you guys have the Lunar Beauty brushes, you know the tea. Okay, I'm gonna go apply some foundation real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, foundation check, you guys. Now let's go in with our concealers. I'm gonna go in with our Natasha Denona's and our Chart Shape Tape. So for some reason, whenever Tart shape tape. I always want to say shart tape. Like, I don't know why. I always want to say shart. Oh, fuck. They only sent me light medium and light medium sand. They must have thought that I was darker than I am. Okay. Okay, guys, so we got our little sponge. Let's go ahead and just try blending this out and seeing what happens, what the finish is, what the vibe is, what's the T, what's the 411. You guys. What is the 411? When it comes to like the color of my concealer, I always like to go a little bit lighter. This is kind of like the exact tone of my skin, which is fine. We have a nice, I would say like medium coverage. It's the Lumi finish though, that's the gag. So it has like a luminous, really radiant finish like it was saying. Maybe the radiant is not, it's not a joke. It's literally like liquid highlighter. 
Oh my gosh. Well, you know, luckily with Radiant stuff, a lot of times it's very hydrating. I would say it's giving me like a medium coverage. It doesn't necessarily cover like all that I want it to. Even with two layers, I'm like, damn, okay. So I still see the I still see those veins, babe. Just the veins are still veining. Let's like kind of let it like settle and do its thing, and we'll see how the finish is. Let's go with our Miss Natasha Denona. I like the packaging a lot. I like the sleekness. Mm. Call the police. We need to call the police. And this is in the shade N4, which honestly is slightly similar to that shade. <laughs> Why is the finish literally almost the exact same? I would say actually, you know what? Lightly less radiant than the Tarte one. I would say the Tarte one is still a little bit more radiant, but they're both extremely radiant nonetheless underneath the eyes. So they're probably gonna be very, you know, hydrating. The only thing that like gets me about um, radiant, you know, Lumi concealers is that they, they never really give me like the coverage I really want. Like I always want more. Especially for concealer under those eyes, I want more. Usually radiant Lumi doesn't give me that, but I will say the high glam, I actually like the high glam side more it's slightly less radiant so i do enjoy that a lot by the way the tart side is not like creasing fast at all which is lovely the tart side is definitely lighter coverage and more radiant so if you're into that if you're into something that's more hydrating less coverage radiant luminous definitely you have if you have more dry skin these are definitely both going to be catered to someone who has drier skin underneath the eyes if you are not dry i would stick to the regular shape tape but if you are, are drier and you want something a little bit more luminous and radiant and hydrating this is a great alternative for you guys for sure i'm gonna show you guys on my phone what it looks like too if you guys are curious why not okay so right side is gonna be our high glam side from natasha denona on the right side a little bit creasier and left side is gonna be our tart side the high glam is creasing faster and has more coverage and the left side is less coverage and doesn't crease as quickly on the tart side all right I actually have a really light shade of the Natasha Denona. I just want to see. Let us see. Oh, try it a little bit on the other side. I'm just trying to a smidge, a smidge. Since I do have like a nice little depiction of the two types of concealers that we're wearing here. The last time I used a Natasha Denona concealer, it was like the matte one. And I don't like that one at all. It's like one of the worst concealers I've ever used. This new concealer they have, have has literally like re-upped my fantasy. It is so much better. It is so much better. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do, I'm going to set my under eyes with a powder I already know because I cannot use this new powder because if things get fucked up, I'm not going to know if it's a concealer or if it's going to be the powder. So I'm going to take the, the Makeup Forever powder all over the face. And then for the under eyes, let me just set my under eye really quickly with, you know, just... <laughs> with things that I know. I don't trust every product I use. Okay, under eyes are now in fact set. So let's go in with our other cream products we have going on. I have, I don't, why do I have this poured out? Like what is wrong with me? Why are you poured out? I'm not even using you. We have some cream blushes that I wanna go in with. I don't have any cream bronzers necessarily that I go with scent recently, but I do have some cream blushes I would love to try out with you guys. So we have some from Pat McGrath, and we have some, this is the Persona Blush Multi-Stick Cheek and Lip in the shade Dream Stick. And this is actually a collaboration with Sarah Wolock, who is a mutual of mine on TikTok. So, she's so beautiful, and she seems so freaking sweet. I was like, I have to, I have to, I have to put some cream blushes on, and then we'll go over it with our Jaclyn Heat Pops. We are really blush today. We have a lot of blushes kind of launching. I'm gonna go put some cream bronzer on really quickly and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do one on each side. We're gonna do our Persona Multi Blush Stick. This is in the shade Bloom, by the way. I saw it because Sarah, this is her collaboration. So I'm assuming this is like her perfect like blush tone. And I <laughs> pulled off the little thing and it broke. So you have to be careful with these kind of components. But let's try this out and we're gonna see. Oh, that shade is beautiful. It's like this very pretty baby doll pink tone. I actually just recently got this Rare Beauty bl uh, brush. It's like their blush brush. I'm gonna try this out and see. Okay, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It kind of gives me a radiant finish as well. The blush gives me a radiant finish. I'm gonna use a little bit more. I do think it's like kind of disappearing on me. Maybe I'll do it with this. Ooh, see? That's what I'm going for right there. This shade is so freakishly beautiful. I honestly want to put it everywhere. True tea. I love you. That's gorgeous. Good job. Fucking Persona and Sarah, you guys really... Y'all ate that up, you guys. You guys ate that up. Okay, next. Let's go with our Pat McGrath. These are the new uh, blushes on the other side. 
These are the Divine Blush Legendary Glow Color Balm. Balm. That scares me. More on the balmy sheer side. Great, great, great. This is a brighter shade. And packaging looks brighter. In reality, it is not. Okay, what's closest to this to match my other shade? Hold on. See, that's like a baby doll pink. It has more pigment to it as well. Um, the Persona one. So we're going to take our shade Peach Lotus, and we're going to put that on this side and see how it looks. I'm So far, I'm absolutely loving the Persona side. I think it's amazing. So let's try this side on this side. This side, this side, no shit. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on this side. I'm going to take a brush and really load up the brush to get the, you know, the pigment off. And we're gonna try tapping this in. Also very, very pretty, not so pigmented, I will say. This one is gonna take me some layering and building to get to this, even close to this spot. It's extremely glowy, it's extremely balmy, like it says. Very light! Doesn't disrupt my foundation though, it's lovely. The formulation is stunning. I just would prefer if it had a little bit more pigment to it because I actually have to go in with a lot of different layers, a lot of different layers to get what I want it to be. However, the consistency feels so nice. It's not sticky. It's like they were saying balmy, almost more Vaseline-like, which I know sounds weird, but it's kind of nice in this setting because you don't want a, the balm to be so sticky. Regardless, they kind of look similar now that I built it up. This one, I would say the balm is more luminous. If you're looking for a luminous, luminous, Balmy blush stick. That's what the Pat McGrath one is. It's gonna give you very sheer coverage, very, very lightweight, very hydrated look, a hydrated flush of color. This is gonna be great for like the no makeup makeup days because there's not a lot of pigment. So you have to really do build these up if you want something that's more pigmented. If you if you don't if you want something that's gonna be like boom in your face pigment, don't get these. They're not gonna work for you like that, girl. I promise you. You're gonna be gagged if you try it like that. It's not gonna be the tea. Regardless, I think that the cheeks look absolutely Stunning. Stunning! So now we can go with our pinchy polo, our pinchy powder. Okay, we also came with this brush too from Makeup Forever. Let's try this out. Nice little, a blush brush. No, a nice little a tulip brush. It's wackadoodle time. There's a little bit of reflect in here. Oh shit. Diva. We're just gonna lightly put that, oh no, okay. Well, um, I'm gonna use a little bit too much. Let me just really run that in the brush. That's gonna, you know what that's gonna be, you guys, for me? It's gonna be a hard no. For some reason, when I did the thing, like, I kept twisting and twisting and twisting it, more blue kept coming out than the other shades, and I think that you can see this, like, kind of blue, ghostly cast on me, and the actual finish has a bit of a shimmer. So one, the finish is very kind of shimmery, much more so than I was expecting, and the color, I feel like I'm looking a little blue. I'm blue if I were green, I would die. You know, very that. Okay, I don't I don't love. I don't love, sadly, because I just don't like the finish of it. Um, I think it looks a little weird. And I feel like my face looks kind of blotchy, actually, because it doesn't, like, deposit the way I wish it did. I wish it mixed in a different way, but it doesn't. I feel like I look like Tin Man. It's t it's too glowy for me. If you're into glowy powders, I think you guys might, you know, potentially see a use for this in your own fantasy, in your own way, in your own fucking vibes. But for me, I'm gonna pass. Hard pass. Which sucks, because I was actually pretty excited about the product. It looked innovative and kind of fun. Um, but I just don't like the finish, sadly. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put some bronzer on really quickly so I can get this face back to a semblance of reality, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I added some bronzer really quickly just to kind of get my skin back to, like, something I would actually enjoy and actually like. Um, so for blush, let's go in with our Jaclyn, our new Jaclyn Cosmetics Heat Pop Matte Powder Blushes on top of the blush that we already have now. And then we actually have these uh, from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Resurgence... Heather Austin X Unearthly Highlighter Duo. So we gotta use these, because I love Heather Austin. I think she's so fucking cute and sweet. And I actually haven't tried a lot from Unearthly, so I'm excited to try these out. These look very cool. They look very duochrome chrome reflective. You guys didn't even see the pan. It's like shifting orange and then pink. Oh shit. Okay, cool, let's go with our powder first. Pressed powder is buildable, soft, silky, and matte formula. So these are supposed to be the same formula as her uh, palettes her blush palettes and this is a limited edition collection we have our, our little like 
cardboard packaging, and then we have our blush in here. I didn't expect <laughs> I didn't expect the uh, the powder that I expected this size. I just didn't expect there to be so much like cardboard around the powder because you open it and you're like boom. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't expect there to be so much room. Um, but regardless, it looks absolutely stunning. I'm using pink pop, and it's a really pretty like light baby doll pink shade. I'm really excited to try this out. I'm gonna put this on to the cheek, and this is gonna be giving us our very, very, very pale, pale, pale baby doll pink, almost like, well, not lavender, but it has a lot of like white to it. You know what I'm saying? Well, the color is beautiful, and it's building nicely. It's not disrupting the blush underneath. Very pretty and very soft and dainty, and I do feel like the formulation is the same as her palettes which have a gorgeous formulation to them as well. What I like about these as well is that they're not overly pigmented. These are buildable, which, and that for me is like a humongous, humongous, humongous plus. You really get to kind of choose the amount of pigment on here. It's kind of giving Dior blush vibes, but more inexpensive and more better. With those, it takes me about 7,000 years to build up the color. At least with these, it takes me like, a couple layers, you know? The other ones take me like eight layers to build, I'm not kidding. That is lovely. If you guys are wanting any of the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Heat Pop Matte Powder Blushes, they do run me, again, like a lot of the exact same formulation as her original, made in the USA. I'm assuming it's the same lab that made her other uh, blush palettes, and they are really nice. They are really nice, they're beautiful on the skin, it goes on smooth, buildable, absolutely delectable. They slay! We have our Resurgence Highlighter. I wanna go in with this because I'm very intrigued. So we have a Renewal and we have Rebirth. So I'm gonna swatch both. Okay, we have, holy shit, Renewal is a very intense golden, a golden pink. Very gnarly and intense. Reflects pink and gold. And then we have Rebirth, which is our white pink gold. This one's more of a translucent base. It doesn't have a lot of color to it other than the actual reflect itself. So you can see when it turn it, there's no like shadow or cast. I'm really intrigued. But when I swatched it, I'm actually very impressed with the swatch immediately. Usually like, honestly, shades like this can be extremely chunky and very gritty and very like kind of hard to be smooth because of the nature of the pigment. Usually when it comes to like those duochromes, it's hard. Like a lot of the brands like kind of flop with them because they're so chunky and gross feeling. So we're gonna take a little bit of rebirth. We're gonna go from there and build the cheek. It's very pretty. It literally, when it goes on, it just goes on like as a pink reflect. It doesn't I have a lot, it, there's no cast to it, which I'm obsessed with. Let me try a more concentrated brush to see if I can get more on. Oh, uh, see, now we can get it. There we go, now we're, now we're cooking with grease. As my southerners would say, now we're cooking with grease. Lord tell me that. So there's a little bit of a cast when you actually apply a little bit more, but it's not that bad, especially with you know, when it comes to these kind of shades, it's usually a lot more. So I'm very impressed. It is more dry, so you do have to, you know, make sure that you're kind of pressing and patting on. And it's actually sticking to something because they're just larger particles. And you want to make sure they do stick to your skin. I'm going to take a little bit of renewal as well, just like on the apples. Just to see if anything happens. You guys, I am freaking glowing. I am glowing. Heather and Unearthly, you guys honestly ate that shit up. They are very bold, more intense highlighters. They're not going to be the like... Fain of heart, slightly gold, slightly pinky, like vibes. It's like in your face. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on my the back of my phone. So this is what they look like when I when I swatch them. They're very reflective and duochrome. And this is what they look like on the face. So you guys can tell that there is kind of reflect on my skin. And when I turn, you can see little particles, but that's just kind of like the nature of these kind of things. They're kind of glittery. Very pretty though. These are more intense. So if you want something less intense, not the vibe. If you want something intense, the vibes, for sure. Okie dokie, let's move right along. Now that we have our like face pretty much done, we have other products here, like eyeshadow palettes, mascara. So we have two palettes I would love to dip into, plus these Danessa Myricks Infinite Chrome, like by Pride and Pride, like we have the new Melt Dark Matter like palette. It's like their, I believe it's their, what? Is this their 10th year anniversary? They've been going for 10 years, that's amazing. Congratulations to Melt. That's so awesome, it's beautiful. We have the new ABH Cosmos palette, which looks go gorgeous, literally gorgeous. I've not been this excited for like an ABH palette in a while. I feel like I have to go in with this one. It's freaking stunning. And then going with some Danessa Flakes. And then maybe a little Trixie Cosmetics. These are like eyeshadows. These are like kind of glitter shadows. I'm gonna go do my brows off camera really quickly because I don't have any new brow product and I'll prime my eyes and I'll be back to do some eyeshadow. Alrighty then. Who, you guys, wait, question. 
Who here has seen The Little Mermaid? Live action remake, who's seen it? I just saw it last night and it's about to become my next personality for the next week. Sebastian's voice. <gasps> it was so good. So now, you guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with Miss ABH because it just looks so nice and so enticing. I wanna do something slightly more on the pinky side or like pull more pinky if we can because I wanna use this. I wanna use Miss Pride. And when you look at it, it's like a golden pink reflect from Danessa Myricks. I'm actually gonna dip into Dark Matter as well because I can use this shade. The first transition shade from Miss Dark Matter from Melt. Nothing showing up, but it's a very, very, very light transition shade. So it's almost like setting my primer in place. Very light, very light, very light. Uh, uh. Now I'm gonna take the shade, I'm gonna take the shade Comet from Miss ABH. Let's try this out, Miss Comet. What does it look like? What's it giving? The ABH shades, I will say immediately, just pack more punch because they are just so loaded with pure pigment. They have always been like this. Like that's like kind of like their thing, right? It's like they're, Super, super pigmented, intense, eye-catching, eye-popping shades. Let's use the shade Eclipse. It's like a deep, dark, plummy tone. Because I want my eye to pull slightly more pinky slash purpley tonage. Oh, going with that red shade from Dark Matter. <gasps> yes! I feel like Ursula, like a little sea witch. Shadows are all blending very lovely. They're very intense, very pigmented. Loaded with pigment, that that freaking maroon shade was very intense from Miss Dark Matter. It's not giving lovely. It's not giving love. It's not giving pride. June is Pride Month. Fine, you win with your gay stuff. That's what you want, right? To win. I guess we're just gonna go a little bit more bold with the eye today, and that's what it's gonna give. And that's okay, and I'm cool with that. You know what? And I've accepted it, and I love it. With those chrome flakes, it's a wrap. But anyway, back to the important thing. The Little Mermaid. It was lovely. I literally loved it. Um, if you guys have seen it, what did you guys think? I'm so intrigued to hear what you guys think. I, as an avid like Little Mermaid original watcher, I watch it every year still to this day. And I'm in my 30s, y'all. I really liked it because it just gave me that nostalgia. Giving like real life to the nostalgia is just great. There was some things that I like, mm, you know, there's like some things here. I would say nine out of 10. I gave it a nine out of 10 because I just loved it so much. But there were just like a few little hiccups. For example, things that are not gonna ruin the storyline like um, Melissa McCarthy's makeup. It was a little rough. I know there's like a lot of discourse about that online from like drag queens being like, why does their makeup look like that? Ursula didn't look like that. You know, kind of thing, which I can understand in a way. Um, and then there was Scuttle. Uh, I thought Aquafina did a great job playing Scuttle. But there was like a song that Scuttle sang. He doesn't do in the original. And I think we could have done without the Scuttle song. In my humble personal opinion. Because I was just kind of like, what is going on? Why is this happening? Other than those two things, it was lovely. It was absolutely lovely. I'm adding a little bit of black from the, uh, the matter. I'll blend after I actually apply our flakes. Once we apply our chrome flakes, we're gonna blend. So I'm thinking about going in with the shade Pride instead of By Pride. Yeah. Where are my LGBTQ followers at, bitches? Where y'all at? Where my people 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 at? Okay, we're gonna take Miss Pride. We're gonna take it on a brush. I like this one because there's, you don't need like a glitter glue to it. It's literally like wet. So we're gonna just put this across our lid. Okay, so they, as the, they were saying, they are flakes. You need to, if you want like a, you know, more even application, you do need to pack a good amount on. This is one of those products where it can be very tricky to apply, but it's looking insane so far in a good way um, because they're flakes as they imply they're not gonna be even the whole way through. What I could have done is like have a, a lid shade down and then lightly press them over. I could have done that, but what's the fun in that? That looks insane. Oh, I'm obsessed. Regardless, of, so even when, when I turn upwards, you guys can see where it's like missing spots and there's like it's not fully even all the way through which is like the shitty part about these like i really wish that you could have this kind of same effect without needing it to be completely even and perfect because it's kind of pain in the ass to apply i'm gonna let it dry i'm gonna let it set in place i guess we're going in on the glam today bitches i guess we're going in but once they dry you guys i will say like they are dried down boots okay i'm gonna show you guys what the other one looks like they have the more bluish pinky one which of course makes sense for by pride Right there, bluish more pink. And of course we have our pride, which are more golden pink, 
with a little bit of green tossed in too. See how they're like not completely together. They are literally flakes. Cool, you guys, I'm gonna go finish the other eye off camera and just actually get my eyes like on using the shadows, using everything, and then I'll come back to use some more goodies from the video. Okay, you guys, and here we are with the final eye look. Smoked out the lower lash line. I actually added, I added from Cosmos the shade Supernova on the inner corner to kind of give it that little reflect. This palette is slay, honestly, like, I really am enjoying um, this palette from ABH. I think they did a good job. They haven't come out with a palette that I've been very like fascinated with or like really wanting to try in a long time. So the fact that Cosmos is so sickening, I'm very pleased. Anyway, so this is what the eyes looking like now that the flakes are fully dry. Can you guys tell like that there's like a hard line between like the actual flakes and my shadows? Like kind of is what it is with this kind of product unless you're going in with a very soft hand. Flaky. Next, you guys, we have some uh, an eyeliner and a mascara I would love to try. We have the new Milk Longwear Infinity Eyeliners. We have the shade Black. They also come out with blue and brown. So I'm gonna take the black one and we're gonna try it out and see how it goes up. I... I thought it was an eyeliner pen. Turns out it's a pencil. Well, not be using that today. I was, I was going more for a pen to see a pen vibe. We're also gonna try the new LYS Influential Black Mascara. Honestly, LYS is a sleigh. In general, LYS is such a sleigh. I'm so glad that the bronzer stick, like this is getting so much attention right now because it's so sickening. Their packaging is all very triangular and similar. So this is a new mascara. This is a Lash Confidence from LYS. Okay, I'm gonna do some eyeliner really quickly and I'll curl my lashes and I'm gonna come back to apply this so I can actually, you know, go from there. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we are back with the liner on and I curled my lashes. The liner got a little out of hand, but honestly, thug life. You know, when it comes to like the flakes, I will say immediately, by the way, one, when I'm putting that eyeliner on, it's just harder to go over product like this because it is more lifted. So you have to do more layers of eyeliner to make sure it like actually goes over the flakes, the chrome flakes, and two, because I put a lot of product on because I wanted to look a little bit more full coverage on my eyes, they feel heavy. They're, they don't feel like light and airy, like, oh, there's nothing on my eyes, baby. You can feel a tightness, a lot of product on your eyelids. So if you do not like that, I'm telling you, it, you need to use a little bit of product or don't get the product at all because they do feel like intense because they have to dry down. You don't have to make, they have to make sure that they last a long time. Look at the flakes on my hand. I'm rubbing hard as hell and they're not going anywhere. So this is one of those products where you need to go light-handed or just be prepared that it will feel like there is a lot of product on your eyes. A film, a rough film. Um, anyway, let's go in with our mascara now. I just curled my lashes and let's see what Miss LYS is going to get. I'm literally wearing the LYS bronzer right now, actually, the cream, the cream bronzer I'm wearing it. Okay, so immediate first impression is doing a good job at really coating all my lashes, giving me a subtle curl. Definitely not necessarily lengthening, more so thickening. The brush is a bristle a bristle brush. It's not like silicone. Usually I actually go for more silicone brushes, but this one is very cute and I really do like it for my lower lash line. Like I was saying, it's not super volumizing. It's not gonna give you like a really intense boom, boom, pow, but it does separate nicely. They kind of give a little bit of a lift to the eyelashes and oh, you know what, now they're falling. It does a good job at getting like literally every single hair. Not super volumizing, but gives nice length and gives a little bit of a lift when you first apply it. However, it doesn't really stay lifted. At least for my eyes, it doesn't. Um, this is one of those mascara. I would think that you would need a couple layers. It's cute. Is it my favorite? No, but it's cute and it looks nice on the lower lashes, which is what I'll probably be using this for in the future. And it has a bristle applicator, so it coats really, really nicely. But like the lower lashes look fantastic. The top lashes, I think the formula is just a little heavy for me uh, and it dropped my lashes extremely quickly. Not one of my favorite mascaras ever, but it's not bad by the slightest at all. It's just not my cup of tea personally. The lower lashes are sickening. Okay, I'm gonna go put a pair of falsies on really quickly and I'll come back to do the lips. Um, and we have some lip options. We have the new Jack and Cosmetics lip oils. We have this from the Heather Austin Unearthly. And we have the new ABH lip glosses that just came out as well. So I'm gonna try one of these out and we'll see from there. Okay, you guys, our lash is currently on. I just did like a cute little flary wispy pair. So I do want to make sure that you can see the makeup through the lash. So nothing too big, nothing too crazy. We went in on the eyes today and I kind of love it. Obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna lip line really quickly and I'll go with our lippy products. I'm gonna go in with the Lunar Beauty Lip Pencil in Milk Tea, which is new as well. 
It's new. Oh my God, these pencils are so creamy. It's so nice to actually get to show you guys me using the lip pencils now. And so I literally use them all the time. I feel like Milk Tea is the most universal color of all of them. Oh! Like I'm gonna feather the lip liner in a little bit. Oh, you know what we can do actually? Sorry, my memory card got full. My memory card got full. So we have the lip liner on, you guys. It's just lip line, a little bit filled in too. The fact that the Lunar Beauty lip pencils are only $14. Diva. Only 14 bucks. And you can use the code on lip liners. I'm just saying. There's also a lip liner bundle as well if you guys are interested, but regardless, I think it looks amazing. I'm actually gonna take the Persona blush on the center of my lips, because it says it's for the lip and cheek. Now let's go in with Miss Jacqueline Cosmetics Pink Pop Lip Oil. Looks like this. Let's see if it's gonna give us some color too. Ooh. There is a little bit of color to it as well. It's not completely sheer. Nice. That looks absolutely lovely. Beautiful. I love it. Should I take a little bit of the ABH on the sides? How much does pigment does it have? Oh, it's too much. <laughs> In the center a little bit. We are like, we're doing the most today, I've decided apparently. Yeah, apparently we are doing the most today. And by we, I mean me. And that is it, you guys, for my entire full face testing new products video. I am so glam today and honestly, I'm living. I haven't been this glam in a while when it comes to like the eyes. So it's it feels really nice to kind of go back to my roots. And look at that contoured lip. No, it's giving. That was so much fun. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. Those other products I wish I could have used, of course, like the milk pencils and the Trixie Cosmetics eyeshadows, but I couldn't use them. I had so much fun filming this, you guys. I absolutely loved it. Let me show you guys my favorites of the video really quickly. Okay, guys, so my top three queens for this week's episode. Stop. Okay, so my top three for today are going to be these three right here. We have two blushes and a concealer. You guys, I just feel like the Natasha High Glam Concealer, the more I looked at it, the more I started to really enjoy it. I really did. Like, I liked the medium coverage of it. I liked that it was giving this, like, slightly dewy, luminous finish. It was very hydrating. It creased a little bit quickly, but all, a lot of concealers crease quickly on me. I just need to set them pretty fast, so it's totally fine with me. The coverage was nice. Like, I overall just thought this was really pretty, and I liked the component of it. I liked the color of it. This is in the shade N4 is what I used. And overall, I just thought it looked really beautiful. I really do. I think my under eyes look really nice. It's slayed. It definitely beat out the Tarte Radiant for me. Uh, overall, I just thought it was really beautiful and I thought it was really hydrating underneath the eyes and gave great coverage. Next product, you guys, the Persona Blush, the Bloom Blush. That was with Sarah. I think it's fantastic. I think the color turned out so beautiful on my cheeks. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. The way it goes on, the way it feels, the way it looks. I just love this baby doll color. I love it. I, love, I feel like it's the perfect amount of pigment, the perfect amount of blendability to it. It's not too pigmented, but it's not sheer. It's just really beautiful. And I think that someone like my skin tone, you know, fairer, lighter complexion, I think will really, really, really enjoy this. I don't think it might be the most universal shade, you know, but Sarah made it for her. It's her collaboration and she's very, very, very fair. So I do feel like it will look beautiful on very fair, light, light, light complexions and up to, you know, my complexion too. I think it looked really pretty. And the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Pink Pop Heat Pop Matte Powder Blushes. There's several colors you guys can choose from this one. This is the one I like is Pink Pop. I feel like the formulation is really, really nice. It feels just like the palettes that she came out with, which are very, very popular and very nice. So overall, I just thought these were beautiful. I thought they blended gorgeously. They built very nicely. This is that kind of cool toned pink shade, which I do enjoy this formulation of it. I really do. It's way easier to build up than like the Dior one, for example, but I do feel like this is kind of a dupe for it. I feel like this is a better version of it, you know? So I would say these three would be my personal tops of the video. These are my top three girlies. So yeah, guys, I think if you got any of those three products, you guys would be living the fantasy. Products I didn't love as much, of course, were like the Makeup Forever powder. Wasn't obsessed with it. It just, you know, it didn't work for me. I need to use it again and continuously try it. If you guys have it and tried it and you like it, how did you guys use it? I don't like the finish. I don't want that kind of texture on my face. I don't want it, you know? Um, I wish that the Pat McGrath uh, Balm blushes were slightly more pigmented, just a little bit more pigment to them. But other than that, I feel like everything else did work out pretty well for me. The Chrome Flakes, love those. They would actually be in the top of my video, but they're a little bit more, they're not as easy to use and they do feel a little bit uncomfortable. So I wouldn't be like top of the video. You have to buy it for sure because of the fact that they're slightly harder to use and they do feel a little heavy, but they look insanely beautiful and gorgeous. And honestly, I love the effect on my eyes. It's so stunning. Yeah, other than that, you guys, that's it for today's video because I had fun watching it. I had so much fun making it. I really did. It's super late actually. 
I don't know if I told you guys this, that it is currently, what time is it? 10.26. You know, I took a power nap and I got a second wind. So here we are, 10.26. Drinking an Alani. Shouldn't be doing that at this time of day. Anyway, have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. Hey guys, welcome back to my this beautiful butt. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing this Gorga day? That's what I say. Sometimes you just have to reset. <laughs> the chair is so it's out of control. You think the chair got worse since I sprayed it with that fucking bullshit? Holy shit! If I can... So if you guys enjoy testing new makeup videos, if you guys like... Wait, what? I'm gonna go do my brows off the camera real quick. I don't have any new... And I wasn't expecting like an actual... What the fuck is that? Is there a grasshopper in my fucking room? I think there's a grasshopper in here. It just went underneath the door. I'm gonna pretend that that never happened. Sheesh! So after today's video is gonna be you guys, we're gonna be testing out a whole new world. A dazzling place I never knew.